Well guys, I frigged up. I figured, uh, well, it's 12.39 now, I'm gonna have to get going soon. But, uh, I got up nine minutes ago. Didn't set my alarm last night. <laughs> thought I did but uh, I think what happened was yesterday when I got out of bed because I woke up before the alarm I turned off my weekly alarm thinking frig it won't need it because well gonna be uh, I'm already awake so I'll just remember to turn it back on tonight right and I forgot to turn it back on last night so sure enough I woke up today I look over all dreary I look over at my clock and it's like 12 30 and I'm like fucking what what time do I work today uh, oh yeah, two o'clock okay good I'm not late I can still make it on time nice you know got up got dressed uh, picked up the camera, but uh, in about five minutes, I'm gonna take a rip over to Maslak. I already called them before I picked up the camera, and uh, my struts are in. So now that we're gonna have the struts, the next step is is finding someone to put the fuckers in. So I figure what we'll do is we'll take a rip over to there, pick up the struts, and then depending on how much time's left, I might head over to Canadian Tire and get the spray foam, or just say fuck it and head off to work. We'll see. Luckily for me, just down the road from where I work, there is a hardware supply shop. So even if I go on my lunch break. Uh, just walk over there and pick it up instead of going to Canadian Tire. It's a mom and pop operation So it'll be a little bit more expensive than say Canadian Tire Walmart or uh, any of the retail uh, stores here like any of the um, Other like where we bought like a Rona or that it'll be a little bit more expensive But you know I'll be supporting a local community business that's not driven by the corporation So I guess that's a good thing So I got to thinking about the topic of yesterday's video being the fact that the wind government wants to by the year 2030 and I said yesterday that I didn't know what time it was but I forgot that I did know by 2030 they basically want to have the new building codes in Ontario state that you're not allowed to have any form of gas or oil burning furnace everything must be electric to basically save the planet and they knew when they made this announcement that it would put the Ontarians in nothing but an uproar Except for the poor sobs who are currently electrically heating their house, they don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying, like, all the rest of us who are using other methods, such as, you know, wood stoves, um, natural gas furnaces, oil heaters, wood pellet heaters, and uh, boiler room furnaces powered by natural gas once again, or another form of fuel like propane even. Uh, some people have propane heat. All these houses have electricity, right? So they want to... Completely outlaw the burning of anything but the money in your wallet. Knowing that this here would cause a super huge uproar in the community. And it's the ultimate smokescreen. The government's up to something else. That's my only solution. The only reason why they would get the, the entire nation in this much of an uproar is if something else was going on behind the scenes that we didn't know about. That's all I can think of. Something else is happening out there, and we don't know what the fuck it is. Kind of makes you wonder. Any who's all just fed the animals. Gonna get myself ready and get the frig out of here. So without further ado, you guys are coming with. Let's do this. All right, well, I figured I better get my garbage out. Neighbor's garbage got fucked over last night again by trash pandas. But, uh... That's why I don't put my garbage out till the next day. Front yard doesn't have too many dandelions. Backyard is fucked. Oh, well, when I mow my lawn, whenever I get to it, I'll deal with that. Here's hoping it's nice on Saturday. Also, notice something missing. That's why Dad was here yesterday. Scoop that shit up. All right, let's saddle up, saddle in, go get some struts, and then go to work. Let's do this. Alrighty, a bit of a different route today. Because Maslak is actually over by the MTO. Or Service Ontario, I should say. Not the MTO. It's a bit of a detour for my trip to work. But I normally leave a half an hour from now, so it's not a big deal. Not a big deal indeed. Any hoozle. Yeah. So remember I said I had this problem with my camera. You'd open the screen. It was acting like a JVC. It would take a good 10 seconds before it was ready sometimes to be able to film. Well, I switched the camera back from the, I can't remember what mode it was, back to the AVC HD, edited the vlog yesterday and the day before, and the day before that. Nobody mentioned any drop in quality. That's because there was none. <laughs> the camera looked fine. Everything was good. So I was like, right on. You know what? And now it does what it used to do. You turn the fucking thing on. Boot ding ready to record, like right away. It plays the little sound, and it's ready to record. Where before it'd be like, boot ding and you're like pressing the record button, and it just wouldn't fucking record. 
but then it would actually buffer one of your presses and then buffer a second press, start recording and stop right away. Which was actually the reason why a couple of my clips that I've taken before weren't even actually clips I've taken because I double pressed the record button and I've shot full scenes where I've walked around and used different backgrounds doing like 30 second segues and all I got is the part in between when I'm walking because of the double press because I started stopped it and when it stopped I thought it started so I'm holding this camera up that's not even recording talking about shit then I'm hitting record and all you see is like the side of my my gut or like the fucking ceiling or something depending on how I'm holding the camera as I'm looking for a new location to try and change the background up to make it look a little different you know try and uh, try and get a different shot going and uh, yeah that's one of the things that happens when you're filming vlogs sometimes cameras fuck up and you end up not getting the shot and you have to retake the whole thing and try and remember what you said and you probably said it one way in the original shot and then you're like thinking about it afterwards going fuck how did I say that it was so brilliant what the hell did I say there, you right? You know, you're, like, you're just completely flabbergasted and can't get the right words out. But now you're recording the damn thing, so it just doesn't work. And that happens a couple times to me. That's why now I pay extra attention uh, to what the color of the uh, light is in the top right-hand corner of the camera. Is it two green bars or is it a red circle? And if it's two green bars, I remember to click the button again a little harder just to make sure that I get my shit. Because let me tell you, redoing a vlog over and over and over again is not fun. Especially when uh, it's a certain scene that you can't do. Like these uh, drives. If this little $5 lapel mic fails me in any way whatsoever, like it did the one time, either A, the audio is going to be all scratchy, or B, the audio is not going to even be there. It's going to be like the one time when I did a drive to work and I was talking about a heated subject. The entire audio track was missing from the from the camera. All I have was video. That was a nice Porsche. Hate to pay the price tag on repairing that fucking thing. You know, I'm probably paying close to uh, 280 bucks for. Uh, well, I'm probably playing, paying close to 600 dollars for the struts for my car. You can imagine the struts in one of those Porsches. Probably not as cheap. Mainly because of the Porsche name tag. Huh truck's called the Highlander. I wonder if it's the only one. Oh, bingo must have let out. So the first objective is to get the struts and then I need to find a mechanic to put them in on my schedule. So that's going to be excitingly fun. I'm going to have to call around. Probably won't be able to get someone tomorrow to do it, but I might try. But yeah, you know, that's like when, I, when people say, oh, vlogging's easy. All you do is sit there and talk to shit. There's a lot of aspects that can go wrong from the moment you pick up that camera in the morning to when you go to bed at night. That makes it just non-stop stress sometimes. Like you fuck up a shot and you're like, fuck, what am I gonna do now? Why well, am I gonna correct this? And you can't correct it because the time of day is wrong or something. Like you film something in the morning and it shit the bed at night and you're fucked, you know? Where the fuck is Maslak? I know you're over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's the next one. Do they have any customer parking? Yes, they do. Perfect. We'll face overlooking the busy road ahead. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pick up my struts. And I will talk to you guys. in a quick minute. Alrighty people, struts are in the trunk. $570 later, $240. That's not right, it's 570. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't feel like mathing today. It'd be five, 285 bucks a piece, give or take a dime. However, while I was in there, I did a little bit of research and discovered something awesome, people. I can get a new smog pump for the Trans Am brand spanking fucking new straight out of the friggin dealer do I want a brand new one not really the current one's kind of pointless honestly the smog pump doesn't really do that much it runs for like maybe the first minute the car turns on guys got a huge set of balls hanging from his truck that's some huge balls 
Hanging from a chain, eh? I always wondered about that. Why do people do that? Is that showing that they're married and their balls are hanging by their wife's chain? I, I don't understand that. If anybody in the comments can tell me why hanging balls from the back of your truck has become a thing, let me know in the comments below, because I fucking don't have the foggiest right now. Anyway, I can get a new air pump. It's going to cost me 200 bucks if I want to do it, or I can try and rebuild mine with my own lack of skills, which is probably how things are going to go, because I like being adventurous. By that I mean I like in, in delving in stupid things that are probably going to fail, but you know what? I'm willing to take one for the team and try. Holy shit. I'm taking the scenic route to work this time, people. I kind of don't want to be in this lane with the transports because I'm not turning. So what I might do is cut over to here. Yeah, like that. It's kind of uh, kind of a good thing that they can still get the pump in. I wonder what other platforms that pump would be used on. Cause I wouldn't think a modern car like this would have an air pump in it, right? Like that technology is kind of old school for... I don't want to say waste management, but uh, like it, maybe emissions management, right? Because uh, when your O2 sensors aren't up to snuff, they aren't warm enough, the system runs in a closed loop, where it, or open loop, where it basically pretty much floods the engine with too much fuel and it's not getting proper telemetry to map the fuel pressure right. And then when the O2 sensor is up to thermals, it closes the loop and then relies on the O2 sensor to map the fuel to air ratio properly depending on what tune it's running. So I wonder if a car like this has an air pump to help ram more air into the catalytic converter, therefore causing that platinum to heat up even more to burn off that NOx gas. I still think it's an older technology and it's not used anymore and that's why finding an air pump is a pain in the arse. But I could be wrong. I'm no mechanic. I just like to read things on the internet and then try and sound smart saying them. Which is how every textbook technician is in my mind. You always know, you always know those people who are textbook technicians or the people who are actually you know, balls deep diagnostics born and raised and learned by doing, not by reading a book. It's the people who can read a book and write a test, but then they sit at a computer or something, or they sit down at the job to do it, and it's like, holy fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. Then you got the people who never read a book, never wrote a test, but can do the job and get it done, like first day they're on the job, get shit did, zero fucks to give, with no certificate saying they're certified in it. And those are the people who get fucked over because they don't have the certification. You know, like my buddy, uh, my one friend, he's an awesome mechanic. He doesn't live in town anymore. He moved out, uh, out to BC. Awesome mechanic. The guy knows shit. He's like a Rickham. Actually, we'll use Rickham even. Rickham's not a certified mechanic. But he can fucking tell you shit about cars when he's fixing them that you would have never even thought was a problem with that make and model of car. He's not certified, he don't have his ticket, but I bet you he could run a wrench faster than the people who do have their ticket. Well, some of them. I know some ticketed mechanics that are fucking brilliant. And the only reason why they got the ticket is, and they, is because they knew they needed that to get a good job, and they were bored out of their tree during the whole training and going to school and all that bullshit. Kind of like me when I took computer programming at Canador. Kind of excited thinking, okay, this is going to be great. They're going to teach us how to do this and this and this. Get into the course and it's like, okay, well, we're going to cover languages that are kind of stupid, like Visual Basic and Java. Yay, fucking Java. Like, don't get us into anything cool like C or, hell, give us a legacy code like Assembly or Fortran. No, 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 no. Let's give us some code that completely sucks. Speaking of things that don't completely suck, is that Chevelle in front of me? I'm hoping he fucking just gooses her off the line. I want to hear those pipes bark. Okay, so he didn't quite hit it off the line, but still a nice looking car. So let's say it's a Tuesday, but it's Thursday. It's Tuesday nights at Canadian Tire when they have the Canadian Tire Car Show. But anyway, yeah, that's that's the other thing, right? So. You got those who can and do, but don't get the good jobs because they don't have the paperwork. And then you got those who can't, but have the certification, get the job, and then they wonder why shit doesn't work 
and their their guy just can't. It's like anybody can read a book and write a fucking test. It takes a special individual to be able to read a book, write a test, and apply what they wrote, uh, what they got on the test, to the table. Fuck, that sounds nice. That's what I need the engine and the Trans Am to sound like. makes me want to have the Firebird out. One of these days, one of these days, I'll get her fixed up and she'll be back on the road fully insured, ready to rock. As long as after two years of sitting, the car didn't take too much sitting damage. Oh, fuck. That truck that was right beside me, his muffler was even with my window. And when he friggin' chooched it, it did chooch right in my face. I just got banged out by friggin' diesel exhaust. Now my car, now the smell in here reminds me of when I worked out on Terra and they used to idle the trains outside the building and the HVAC would suck in all the exhaust. Ah, oh, fuck it, red light. It's been a while since I've come this way. So $571 to get my front end to stop sounding like a friggin' rattle can. Let's hope that fixes her up. Be nice to have a fully functional car. I really don't want to have to buy a new car. This one here still has life in it. Oh well. But any hoozle, I'm almost at work. So uh I'm gonna shut the camera off. And I guess I will uh, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. So, till then, peace the frig out. Hey guys, made it to work with time to spare. So I'm going to head over to the hardware store and grab the shit that I need. And uh, go from there. So I guess I'll talk to you guys after work. So until then, peace the frig out. Alrighty guys, we are done with the shift. It's currently, I'm late. I had shit to do that took up time. Anyway, let's go home. Alrighty, peeps and creeps, I'm home. I figured I'd pop my trunk and show you that I got my struts. What is the unlock button for the trunk? I think I got a light in here. Yeah, I do. So there are the struts there. They're uh, by a brand called Monroe. Oh, I just shit my pants, but they're Monroe quick struts. So they should be the professional's choice. Fuck, I hope these work. Should resolve my issues nicely. So I noticed over here, lock the car down, that uh, I got my flyer day and a bunch of other crap. Hey, something not even for me. Lovely. Let's go in the house and let's stoop it out. Alrighty, guys, it's dark as friggin' here, but you know what? What the frig are you talking about, computer? Oh, just said something disconnected. I disconnected the camera like friggin' 15 seconds ago and my computer just realized I disconnected the camera. Sometimes I question the viability of my computer. Anyway, it's time for... Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. Alrighty guys, sorry for any background noise. I got a fan pumping air out of the room, but we're gonna start off with the source. Cause I want that. Let's see if we do want that. So they got the Samsung Galaxy E9.6 inch tablet on for $279. That'd be a good deal if I actually needed a tablet. For $40 cheaper, you can get an iPod Touch. Not sure why you'd want it, tablet's better. Dirty old 16 gig pen drives, perfect for putting that operating system on. Or oh, running a version of Linux that runs off of a, uh, a friggin' uh, pen drive. Yeah, five bucks. We got some RCs here from $20. That's not too bad, I guess. Probably not, probably junk. 
think that's the same stereo I have sitting downstairs on my fridge. It's kind of sad those actually don't sound too bad, but I would never buy one for that price. That's ridiculous. I like how they add a couple more buttons to something and all of a sudden it's extreme gaming. But it's 30 bucks. When you want a speaker system that runs underwater, the 2.1 Aqua Sound System. Dancing Water Light Show. Ootsie, 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 ootsie. Alrighty, let's move on to Staples. Make more happen. Apparently it's the big chair event. Lovely. I don't know, it's kind of expensive for a Core i3. Is that an i3? Yeah, it's an i3. Why the frig would you want to spend 600 bucks on an i3 laptop? I'll never understand. So like, is that a better version than my T5i or what? I don't know anything about cameras except for I have a T5i and I like it. Oh, here's the friggin' drone buddy was trying to sell me that day I went in. Yup. Went in to buy an Xbox controller. For some reason he tried to push me on a drone. I don't get it. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I ever needed a tablet, I'd probably buy something like that because it runs Windows, even though it's Windows 10. I could deal. Yeah, get three of those monitors, put them around my gaming computer, and then I could play dirt and awesome panoramic. It's still on sale! Well, not really. That's the regular price. Alrighty, I'm moving right along to Best Try. Let's see if these guys got any good deals. Probably not. 24-inch Acer monitor for $150. That's actually a pretty good price if it'll do... Yeah, it will. 1080p, I think. Probably is. Fuck, it's 24 inches. It better be 1080p. Apparently it's got HDMI too, so that's awesome. Well, it looks like Lenovo also has one of those tablet PC dealies. That's pretty cool. I know it's a Dell and all, but it's an i7 with an R9 360 graphics card for a thousand bucks. You know, the graphics card's a piece of shit. Sorry, Dark Knight. Uh, but uh, the rest of it might be okay. It doesn't say how much RAM it has. Oh, it's down there. 16 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte. You know what? That would actually be a pretty decent rig. And I know that video car can play Grand Theft Auto. Thousand bucks. Yup. Anybody looking for a home theater PC keyboard? Well, there you go. $29.99 at Best Try. They even have the disgusting little pizza pocket mouse to go with it. But it's by Microsoft, so it probably sucks. Samsung! I've been seeing a lot of videos lately of people using these for in-car shots and stuff to do like a POV. I wonder how good they are. I wonder if they have a mic input. Ootsie, 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 buck 79. Ootsie, 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 buck 79. Alrighty, now moving on to Food Basics, my grocery store of choice. Let's see what kind of deals they got, because I need to pick up some food on Saturday. We got some corn, we got some strawberries, we got some blueberries, and we got some whatever the frig those are. Two for five dollars for the blueberries. And corn and strawberries are buck ninety-seven each. Take it back, it's six corn for two bucks. I may have to indulge. I may have to. I love corn. But not the way 88 does. Only one person can love corn like that. Holy shit, B-A-C-O-N is on sale for 288. Yeah, you're probably wondering, Adam, why don't you just say what it's called? Because I have a dog, and when I say that name, he freaks. Oh, friggin' 367 for all this? All these different types. You don't get all this for 367, people. You get a box of one of them. A box. Oh, check it out. Farts in a tub and farts in a box. Perfect. Oh, freaking kielbasa cocks. Gotta love those. Oh, sorry, they're chubs. I apologize. So, like, when you buy these kebabs in a store, do you just, like, fire them on the friggin' barbecue and hope the stick doesn't catch fire? Or do you gotta soak them in water for an hour first? Oh, if you ever want to get the four-hour shits, buy a pack of these, cook them up in an air fryer or on a frying pan or barbecue and eat them. Oh, I friggin' love snack pack. I gotta buy those again, those grillums. They're delicious. Mmm, beer and Clamato this weekend is probably going to happen. Alrighty, let's move on to Freshco. Cheap, cheap, and save, save. I actually found out I heard on the radio, that bird's name is Cheap, and that bird's name is Save. There you go. I figured it out, people. Ooh, fresh boneless strip loin steaks from cut from USDA. Select beef, limited four, five dollars a piece. I might have to pick some of these sluts up. Oh, there's a good deal for friggin' nachos and salsa. I love that kind. The barbecue sauce. Mamma ma, ma, mio. Great big old dirty loose boneless pea meal bacon. Friggin' awesome. Oh, frig. They got a five pack of corn on for $3.49, but I still think the deal over at uh, Best, not Best Buy, frig. Uh, Food Basics is better. 
All right, let's move on to Canadian Tire Spring Madness Sale. Seven days of spring madness. Oh, the 46-inch smart TV by Muse. Mmm, Muse. Why did anybody want a smart TV? I really got a stupid TV and a smart computer. Oh, it's a tent with a porch. How cute. Okay, those are kind of cool. It's like water chairs. That one's got a toilet built into it, the one on the bottom. Oh, hibachi. Hibachi, hibachi, hibachi. Yeah, I got one of those lanterns. They're freaking awesome. Yeah, I got one of those tents. I never popped it up once. Think I'm gonna have to go buy one of these fans or one of those box fans and put it in the other room in the window for the summer because I have a bad feeling the summer's gonna be hot and that room's gonna be toasty. And due to living in a province governed by the wind government, I refuse to buy one of these because my hydro bill's already expensive enough and I don't need to make it worse. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a freaking pizza oven, but it's a tabletop one. That's awesome. Definitely used outside with propane. I wonder just how spotty and lighty those are. Oh, with the way the wind government's going soon, everybody's going to have these on their house. Yep. The best part of waking up is fold your spring out your butt. Blink. Anyway, people, that's all we got for Flyer Day. Um, I'm probably going to get this here all edited up and put into the vlog. And I got a text message from mom saying dad brought some wood over, so let me get this shite all edited up. Oh, shit, it got really dark in here, I'm scared. And then uh, we'll go downstairs and take a look at that and see what the cock's really going on, so I'll burb. Yo, you sound like you're out of breath just like your daddy, eh? Eh? Okay? Yeah, you do. Okay, go down. Go downstairs. The dad got some wood from me. Move out of the freaking way, dog. Jesus, Murphy. Dad got some wood for me. Oh, she's not in her box. Oh, you must be in this. Well, shit, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. White on one side, brown on the other. That's exactly what I wanted to buy from uh, the place, the stuff and the guy. I think he wanted to use one of these to cover this. And the other one over here to cover this, or maybe to cover this. I don't know. He's got his plans figured out. I think he was also thinking about using this to cover this, and using some of this to cover the rest of this. So we'll have to wait and see what he comes up with on Saturday, because Dad's coming over on Saturday. We're going to install the new taps in the bathroom, and see what else we get did on that day. Should be good. Fucky special. But anyway, people, I'm going to go ahead and shut the vlog down here and call her quits for tonight and carry on tomorrow. I'm getting kind of tired and I want to go to bed. Actually, I want to watch some more Top Gear and possibly take a dump in a minute or two. So I'm going to shut the vlog down here. So thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Got my struts. Just got to get them installed. And then uh, we're golden. So on that note, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.